Okay, so I'm going to be talking about um, an allocator I find interesting, like simple and neat, um, slab allocators. Um, so allocators are mechanisms to manage memory. Um, they can allocate and deallocate. I'm sure everybody knows this stuff. Um, and potentially, you might want to deal with multiple threads, so you may not. Um, and they are usually composed of other allocators, and typically, complex allocators are highly led. The lowest layer is the page allocator. Um, people sometimes use malloc and free directly, but uh, if you want to get close to the OS, uh, the lowest layer is the page allocator. Um, and your, your operating system usually defines the page size. Uh, for Unix systems, it's typically used uh, to get the pages. You typically use mmap and mmonmap. Uh, you could also use sbreak. And Windows provides something similar with virtual alloc and virtual free. And you can design some interesting page allocators as well by implementing caching and buffering. But if you don't need that, it's probably best to keep it simple. Um, Small note from my experience, your page allocator on your OS is typically pretty fast. And for large allocations, you don't actually want to do any caching. But you might want to if you know your system better. OK, so the allocator I'm interested in is the slab allocator. Um, it's, um, it was a, there was a paper on, on Usenix by Jeff Bonwick who, um, who detailed some of this much more than what I'm going to talk about here. And if you're interested, please check that out. Uh, but it's usually for small-sized objects. Um, and it's similar to pools. But the difference is that slabs can naturally free memory back to the OS. And when used in kernels, uh, they typically come with constructor and destructor functions so that you can also do object caching. But it's not very C++-y, so I won't go into that. Um, OK. So the slab allocator, let's assume that we have an object size of 512 bytes. Uh, this is fairly large, but I'm using it because it is easier to explain on slides. Typically, you shouldn't use that larger size with slabs. Um, and the idea is we're going to get pages from the page allocator. And we're going to make sure that whatever object size we pick, here it's 512 bytes, but whatever size you pick, it must be at least one point size, because we're going to thread a free list through the free objects. So a slab, a simple slab for 512 byte objects um, has three doubly linked lists a partial list, an empty list, and a full list. These lists aren't actually for the individual allocations, but they are for slab pages themselves. And I'll explain what a slab page is. So a slab page um, is a forward and back pointer to be able to attach to one of these lists. Um, there is a singly linked list called free head. And we also know the free size in constant time. Uh, this particular slab page, um, it has four open slots and three use slots. The gray stands for used, and white is free. Um, the reason there are a total of seven is because, because we get a single page, you can fit eight. But we are using metadata here, which is quite wasteful. But typically, you wouldn't do that. Um, so the free head, as you can see, is threaded through um, the free uh, nodes in the slab. And it's pretty similar to pool in that, in that sense that you can, in constant time, find an allocation, uh, find memory for an allocation. There's also an empty uh, list, which is where you can store completely free slab pages. And there's also full slab pages. And these three are useful because let's say that you free everything in a slab page. You can move the page from partial to empty. And if you need suddenly more memory, you can move them back. Uh, you might want to be careful of thrashing there, but there are ways you can avoid that. So an allocation typically goes like this. Um, you get a request. You know the size is 512. You go to the partial list and find the first slab page that has something free. By definition, something in the partial page will have something free. You update the free list, and you return the piece of memory. Uh, freeing is similar. Um, let's say I'm going to free that piece of memory there. It's currently in a slab page that's completely full. I can then attach it to the free list, update the size. But now, since this is no longer full, it has to be transitioned to the partial list. And typically, you add it at the end of the doubly linked list so that you don't end up thrashing from partial to full over and over again. OK. Some implementation details. And 
ஆமாம் விட்டேன் அவ்வளோ தேங்க்ஸ்